Yes, I'm back from my break. Thank you to anyone who is being patient. Now, let's get this meeting into session, and hopefully, nobody dies. In this meeting, I'll be going over several poisons that you all can use for writing, and definitely not for anything else. I found this post from an account on Instagram at Mayhem Writes. If you're listening to this on Instagram, then they'll be credited in the description. So, I've got eight poisons with their origins, symptoms, plant, and severity. So, let's just get right into it. Belladonna. Atropa belladonna, or deadly nightshade, is found in North Africa, Western Asia, and Europe. It can cause paralysis, heart failure, narcosis, and narcosis. Symptoms include dilated pupils, loss of balance, confusion, hallucinations, and and convulsions. Belladonna plants have purple, trumpet-shaped flowers and dark, shiny berries. The berries are the most toxic part of the plant. Two to four can kill a small child and ten to twenty an adult. The chemicals in it disrupt the nervous system. Next up, hemlock. Conium maculatum is found in Asia, Australia, Europe, Africa, North and South America. Hemlock is paralytic, so the cause of death is more likely than not asphyxiation, since hemlock affects the nervous system. Hemlock is most commonly used in tea slash drinks to poison, as six to eight leaves is fatal to adults. The plant has bunches of small white flowers and can grow up to 10 feet tall. Now for wolfsbane. Aconitum, aconitum or monk shoot slash aconite is commonly found in Europe. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, tingling, numbness, and burning in the abdomen. In severe cases, motor weakness and numb limbs. Wolfbane should be handled with gloves, as poison easily seeps through the skin, especially from the roots. The plant is pretty and purple with gourd-shaped flowers. Jimson weed. Datura strontonium or devil snare, is in the nightshade family and found in Central America. Symptoms include delirium, hallucination, amnesia, and hyperthermia. It has been used as a hallucinogen. Not all outcomes are fatal. Jimson weed is foul smelling with thick root and creamy slash with a thick root and creamy slash violet trumpet-shaped flowers which open at night and emit a pleasant fragrance. The toxin amount varies each plant. Mandrake. Man- Mandragoria officinarum. Mandragorium officinarum is the root of a plant. Mandragoria is, uh, Mediter- is in the Mediterranean region. The plant is part of the nightshade family and was once used as an anesthetic. The root is a hallucinogenic and narcotic. Mandrakes was used internally to to gray mel- Mandrakes was used internally to gray melancholy, convulsion, and mania. When taken in large doses, however, it is said to excite delirium and madness. Legend states the roots screech when k- the lo- the roots screech can kill when dug up. Next, henbane. Hyosiamus. I don't think I can say that second word. Um, or the devil's eyes was once said to be used in witchcraft. Just smelling the leaf can cause dizziness, hallucination, dry mouth, restlessness, delirium, etc. All leading to death. Henbane leaves in the concentrated mouths are used for spasms of the digestive tract. More nicknames are 
Stinking Slash, Feated Nightshade, and Black Henbane. Arsenic. Arsenic comes from a metalloid and not a plant. Chunks of it are dug up and mined from volcanic ash and ground powder. Symptoms include vomiting and diarrhea. It often causes neurotic cell death, leading to organ failure. Arsenic can also be fatal in lower doses given through a period of time. White arsenic slash arsenic oxide is a water-soluble, tasteless solid uh, easily added to drinks and can be used as a method to murder your characters. Your characters. Lastly, foxglove. Digitalis is found all over the world. Intoxication causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, drooling, cardiac arrhythmia, weakness, collapse, dilated pupils, tremors, seizures, and even death. Safe to say, it's dangerous. Foxgloves are grown on tall spike are grown on a tall spike with colors varying from purple, pink, white, and yellow flowers. The scientific name means finger like, referring to the ease in which a flower can fit over a human fingertip. And that's everything for this episode of Poisons. Next episode will be about dangerous chemicals. Please do not Please do your best to not kill anyone. Do it to your characters. Check out the Creative Writing Club Discord server, link in the description. And if you're listening to this on Instagram, then the link will be in my bio. The Creative Writing Club Instagram is at creativewriting underscore club. My personal Instagram is at dark underscore night underscore wolves. And how about we bring this meeting to an end and Hopefully there's as much people here as we started.